Today, I'll be opening up a $300 comic book mystery box from Rob Fat Stacks of Comics. Stick around. Is in the building. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx back in the DJ building, Lynx. back in effect, and back with another video. And today I'll be opening up a $300 comic book mystery box from my guy, Mr. Rob Fatstaxo Comics. Now we all know Rob. Rob is a great dude. He has a channel. If you don't know Rob, make sure you go over to his channel and sub him up right now. Fantastic cat, puts out fantastic content, and he's just an all-around good dude. So he put out this $300 mystery box, but uh, let me just give you some background because <laughs> it's funny because, you know, uh, Rob is very diligent when it comes to doing things. So he put out the $300 mystery box and he let it be known, $300 mystery box, 25 of that is going towards shipping. He did ship it like UPS, like <laughs> I got it like super quick. Uh, 25 of that was going towards um, shipping UPS, uh, 25 of that was going toward the raffling of the grand prize so it was a slab and spoiler alert i won the gp um he went live on instagram and i, I know i heard the collective groan as my name just edged out as uh, the wheel was spinning <laughs> like uh, it was just hilarious um so yeah it was like a, a mystery box then it's like a piece of a raffle for the gp it was it was it was kind of weird um but you know rob puts in the work and he is super upfront about everything that he does which i'm greatly appreciative of he did the uh totals on the the books so that's what i am going to use for this video like i said uh in on gary b's channel if you get um mystery boxes from people that you know and that you know they do their stuff they do their due diligence exhaustive research and putting together a mystery box you trust that seller I trust Rob Fat Sacks of Comics, and I know he, uh, after the wake of the whole, you know, 777 box fiasco, he made sure that this box was up to snuff, so we're going to use those. Truth be told, I opened this on the Comic Vets channel, who's, by the way, doing a great 600 subscriber push, so go over there, make sure you sub him up as well. Check out the entry video, he has some homework that you have to do, but uh, I know he's giving away some fantastic prizes when he hits 600, I'll be part of that, I'll be giving away something on his channel as well. And uh, we opened it on his uh, channel the other day. So this is basically a recap. So yeah, I'm gonna start. He had a, you know, start here, post it. Fantastic Rob Fat Stacks a comic sticker, which the quality on the sticker is tremendous. Uh, oh, it's funny because it's not focusing, but it's focusing here. Huh? Representing with the shirt, not me. So uh, yeah, let's get in. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, what do we got? $2.99 Unlimited number one. And this is the first appearance of Hulk 2099. Did I say 299? I meant 2099. So 2099 Unlimited number one, first appearance of Hulk. $5 price tag on that. Uh, Daredevil number 187, a fantastic, fantastic Frank Miller cover. Uh, man, this is, this is pretty dope. Uh, $7 price tag on this one. This is a fantastic cover. And you know what? I'm going to, eh, we'll do that at the end. Um, Thor number 10 of the Donny Cates run, and this is a 1 in 25 ratio variant, so that's pretty cool. $7 price tag on that. Yeah, 1 in 25. That's a pretty awesome cover, too. I need to get into Thor. I, like, I've been collecting them from the beginning. I just never sat down to read it. I should have read Thor instead of Venom. I wasted all my time reading uh, Venom. Uh, G.I. Joe number 19, a new stand at that. I think there was a gi joe book possibly in all of these mystery boxes so all of the mystery boxes they out of the ones that i've seen they were all fantastic but they all had like common themes to them so you got a ratio variant you got some signatures you got a gi joe you got possibly a, a 90s nostalgia book um yeah so it's pretty dope so far pretty nice mix uh battlestar galactica number one which is a newsstand and it's crazy because I've uh, people recommended this show to me for eons, and I've never uh, sat down to watch it. But this is pretty, pretty cool. Battlestar Galactic number one, and in fantastic. All these books have been in fantastic condition. Um, yeah, G.I. Yeah, Joe. There might be a, a tick there, but whatever. This Battlestar Galactica is in crispy shape. Crispy, crispy. It is in crispy shape. 
uh, Daredevil number 50, 58 of 50 center. This one definitely needs a clean, but still. Daredevil 58? Come on, a 15 center? <sighs> fire, 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 fire. That's a fantastic cover. I don't know who your boy is there. The stunt master spins out. He's stunting on Daredevil. Stunting. And it's like, <laughs> like the bottom of his shoes. It looks like some, you know, classic Oxfords or wingtips. I, I know my shoes. Not that I have been stepped on and I know the bottom of a shoe, but it's like, whatever. Uh, Spawn number 10. And this is the book that I gave Rob some shit about. Uh, this is possibly the worst Spawn cover ever created in the history of comic books. <laughs> yeah, this is like, oh uh, man, Spawn number 10. Yeah, this cover is terrible, terrible, terrible. But whatever. <laughs> but that, that's that's the first miss. So that's what I was doing. I was like gonna separate it into the hits and misses, but I, I could say that I miss just because I, I hate that cover, but it might be great for somebody else, just not for me. That doesn't mean that there's not any value behind it. Um The Walking Dead number one, and this is a Wizard World Ohio Comic Con exclusive, which is reprints The Walking Dead, which is the first appearance of Rick Grimes and Shane Walsh and everybody else. Now, funny thing about this is it is signed, so you see the signature down here. And it's signed by Luke on the show. I'll put a picture of him right here. Uh, his name is Dan Fogler. Hmm, 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 hmm. What's hilarious about this, um, I'm, I'm not a Walking Dead guy, but I, I believe, I might be completely wrong, I think the signature actually hurts this book because who, who the fuck is Luke? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But this is an awesome reprint and awesome exclusive from Wizard World Ohio. And uh, yeah, I think the signature actually hurts this. Another thing about these these books, right? And then this box in general from Rob Fatstacks, he didn't assign a value to any of the signature books. There's gonna be two signature books in here. He didn't assign the value because a Luke signature to somebody else could mean one thing. A Luke signature to me means absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I respect him for that. Not everybody is out there trying to get signatures. Um, but I totally respect Rob for that. For the sake of this video, I'm going to give this a $10 price tag. I'll put that in the misses column. Harley Quinn, what is this? Harley Quinn's Villain of the Year, number one, signed by Mr. J. Scott Campbell in that Mylar Magic. Rob, again, didn't assign a value to this, but this is fantastic. I'll assign a value, let's just say 20 bucks, right? So. 20 bucks we're gonna give a value of this and then the certificate of authenticity dc comics the year of the villain number one this is dope it might be more than more than 20 bucks but he didn't put a price tag on this because he didn't want that going toward the overall value of the box but we're gonna do that now i mean because that's how we roll but this is a phenomenal cover phenomenal signature this is pretty dope pretty pretty dope and this is fire new york comic-con exclusive this is from uh this year that just passed uh 2021 i believe I forgot, this is Miles Morales, I wanna say 29 maybe? Miles Morales Spider-Man 29, an amazing uh, uh, exclusive. I'm Yeah, I'm gonna open it. There's no tape, yay, so I can do that. Miles Morales 30, uh, the Comic Mint. The Comic Mint exclusive, and this has a price tag of 40 bucks. I remember, I, <laughs> I skipped out on picking this one up, I wanted it, but when uh, at New York Comic Con, I was so peeved that all the stuff that I wanted was sold out. So I just like walked away in a tantrum. <laughs> so I forgot to pick that one up. And then boom, X-Men number 244, which is the first appearance of Jubilee. Phenomenal, phenomenal in crispy shape, crispy shape. Whoa, let me back that up a little bit. Um, what's what's a, what's a, a grade lower than crispy? I don't know, original recipe. So an original recipe shape. Um, but this is pretty dope. First appearance of Jubilee. That's another thing with these boxes. From what I saw, each box contained at least one first appearance. Uh, and this is pretty dope. $45 price tag on that. And then the final raw book out of the box. This, I guess, is like the, the big hit that he considers. So this is Fallen Angels number one, second printing version variant. And this is number... 557 of 750 copies now this is one of those things where i do not care for this book but i understand there's a great value behind that and i will add it to the hits pile and that that's the way it goes as far as raw books overall raw books fantastic fantastic super happy with that uh walking dead and spawn could kick rocks but rob did the damn thing 
on the raw books. Now, there were two slabs included in the box and I'll show those to you. And then like I mentioned earlier before, I won the grand prize and I'll show you what that slab was. So the first slab is going to be, hopefully we don't get a lot of good glare on this, uh, Star Wars Adventures, The Clone Wars number four from IDW Publishing, CGC graded 9.8 white pages. And this is the Milton variant cover. KRS Comics, Black Flag Comics, Scott's Collectible Comics exclusive. So this is cool. Star Wars is not my jam, um, but it's, it's actually a really, really cool cover. Uh, but I won't be keeping this because Star Wars is just not my jam. Now, this is my jam right here. So Iron Man number 99 and that's 9.6 off white to white pages from June 77. Oof. Oof. <laughs> you know what's funny? This, this is a fantastic cover. Too late, Avenger. You can shatter those titanium chains, but not in time to save yourself or an unsuspecting world. I have no idea who that is. Oh, that's the Mandarin. He looks different. Hmm. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool, man. And in a 9.6, it's funny because looking at this now, if you were to send this in, this will not get a 9.6. This is dirty as hell. Um, but the spine is clean. This is a fantastic book. Awesome cover. Show it again. Really, really love that cover. Fantastic slab all around. The back too is uh, pretty dirty. So that was the box. Now, like I mentioned before, I won the grand prize and you know, the, the whole world let out a collective groan when I won that grand prize. And uh, that prize was this, Convergence number two, uh, Convergence Superman number two, rather. And this is the first appearance of Jonathan Kent, who is the new Superman. And CGC graded 9.8 white pages. So that's pretty dope, pretty dope. I know Jonathan Kent is uh, pretty popular right now with his, uh, he has his whole book going on. So that, that's pretty dope. Uh, I like Batman creeping in. <laughs> Batman is creeping in the shadows over there like you. <laughs> like, what is going on? That's, that's kind of weird actually. Like if she's about to give birth, why is Batman in the shadow? Is Batman the father? Wow, anyway, so that's pretty dope. So all in all, ladies and gentlemen, I spent 300 bucks and this is all the, the stuff I got. Um, I'm, uh, let, let's just do the hits again and the misses. So uh, this Fallen Angel hit. X-Men hit, Miles hit, Harley Quinn hit, Daredevil hit, Battlestar Galactica hit, G.I. Joe hit, Thor hit, Daredevil hit, 2099 a hit, Convergence number two a hit, Iron Man 99 a hit. Boom. Now for me, just for my personal taste, I'm not digging the Star Wars just because I'm not a Star Wars guy. That doesn't mean it's a, it's a bad thing. Well, actually, that goes in the hit because just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it's not a hit. Don't buy somebody else gonna like it. Uh, yeah, this Walking Dead signed by Luke. Like I said, who the fuck is Luke? And then this spawn is, I, I hate that spawn cover. I might use that for a whack hack if I ever get invited, invited back to uh, whack comics. Yeah, so let's see that total value. And that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me. Make sure you go and subscribe to Rob Fat Sacks of Comics' his channel. He's a great guy. He puts out phenomenal content. Uh, great, great guy. I, I can't say that enough. Puts out phenomenal content as well. And uh, yeah, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.